Hey guys, welcome back to Brainy Toast. So in this particular video, we will be talking about how to pass questions for DMS. So I'll also tell you like uh, what are the important questions that you need to do for DMS. And if you have more questions, chahiye, question banks, chahiye, solutions, chahiye, uh, BH materials, then where will you get from all of Firstly, talking about the IMP concepts which we have left for you, we are going to do in four sections. Mein karne wale hai. Wo sections mein, like there will be four sections. Section 1, section 2 will be very important. And there are 16 concepts that you need to do in total. Talking about the first section, the first question over here is, Belt conveyor system is to be designed for the following specification. Materials conveyed up, uh, up is coal. Capacity is 200 TPH. Horizontal distance is 30 meters. Vertical distance is 5 meters. Then uh, the troughing angle is 20 angle. Estimate the width of the belt used on capacity. Estimate the motor power. Find the number of ply in the belt cross section. So this uh, question is for uh, section 1 first question. Second is centrifugal pump directly coupled to a motor is required to deliver 1000 liter uh, LPM of water at 30 degrees against a total head of 25 meters. Select the type of motor speed and determine the power. Second is determine the impeller diameter, inlet and outlet vane angles and number of vanes. Design the impeller shaft. And then the last particular thing to find is design the shape of the volute, volute cast, casting. And the last one is decide diameters of uh, suction and delivery pumps. So this is the second question. The third question is a four-stroke single cylindrical uh, cylinder cylinder water cooled diesel engine develops 7.5 kW brake power when operating at 1000 rpm determine the size of engine design a bed liner and uh, bed liner and cylinder cylinder design piston with pins and piston rings so this is uh, question number 3 let's go to question number 4 wherein the first is explain methodology for mechanical system design with suitable examples so guys, these four questions you have to do for section 1. Let's go to section 2 wherein the first question that you need to do is state the significance of specific speed and NPHSH in design of centrifugal pump. Next is why cleaning of belt is necessary for belt conveyors. List down usual type of cleaners. Next is distinguish between gear pump and centrifugal pumps. Next is state the importance of ray diagrams in design of multi-speed gear boxes. So these four questions are for section number two. If you need answers for these questions, you can definitely go and check the Brain Eaters app. You'll find the major answers there. So make sure to download the app and check for more details. The first question that you need to do for section three is describe the significance of pulleys for a gain in force and pulleys for a gain in speed. Next is state the importance of a uh, take up arrangement in belt conveyor system. Also explain the gravity take up unit with a neat sketch. Next question is draw a flowchart for morphology of design and explain each phase. Next question is describe the terms NPSH required and NPSH available associate with centrifugal pump design. So guys these questions you have to do for section 3. Let's go to section 4 wherein the first question here is derive an expression for breaking strength of 6 into 7 type of rope used in hoisting application. Next is state the causes and remedies for the vibration and noise in centrifugal pumps. Next is illustrate, illustrate the working of external gear pump with neat sketches. So guys, these are the most important 15 questions that you need to do for this particular subject. And if you have done this, you will have a kick start or you know, passing map preparation to easily ho hi jayega. So if you are wondering where you will get questions from, se milenge, so we have already uploaded all the questions in the Brain Eaters plans. You will get three plans, okay? Depending on whatever your aim is to score, you can do passing marks, you can do average marks, ke questions kar sakte ho, and you can do questions for scoring. Questions kar sakte ho. In sab ke answers already available in BH notes. Mein. Once you are done with the BH plans, go to the BH question banks, you will get modulized questions. Mil so, chapter 1 में से कितने करने हैं, chapter 2 में से कितने करने हैं, chapter 3 में से करने हैं, एक proper count available है वहाँ पे, so you guys check that as well. So, uh, अगर मैं आपको summary दूँ, अगर आपने कुछ भी नहीं पढ़ा है, just go to the Brainitos app, पहले plans करो, फिर question banks करो, you are good to go for the exam. Okay, so you need not worry. We have like covered each and every concept that you have to do in this. And if you have to finish everything up in like if you are planning to finish everything up, it is practically possible because you don't have to do more questions. You just have to like smartly cover each and every concept that you have mentioned. 
so i hope this solves your doubt for how to pass or score before like uh, ending up this video i would like to tell you agar aapko koi bhi reference book ki zarurat ho ya aise koi doubt ho ya uh, materials chahiye ho you can join our whatsapp community our team is active 24/7 aapko drive links uh, fir answers क्वेश्चन बैंक्स वाइवा क्वेश्चन एवरी थिंग आपको मिल जाएगा व्हाट्सएप कम्युनिटी में फॉर मोर अनाउंसमेंट्स एंड अपडेट्स आप प्रिंट और इंस्टाग्राम भी फॉलो कर सकते हो जॉब अपडेट्स होते हैं अकेडमिक अपडेट्स होते हैं टाइम लाइन्स होते हैं टाइम टेबल्स होते हैं एवरी अपडेट इज पोस्टेड ऑन इंस्टाग्राम सो यू कैन लाइक फॉलो अस देयर एज वेल यू कैन स्टे कनेक्टेड टू अस ऑन लिंकड इन ऑल्सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एनी जॉब और यू आर लुकिंग फॉर एनी नॉन टेक्निकल इंटर्नशिप Our career page is definitely open for you all. I'm putting the link in the bio. You can check that up. You can apply, and our team will get back to you. Okay, so I guess this is it for this particular video. Or, if you have any other video, or any other doubt, or any other subject video, please comment down, and I will try to make sure that you get all the how to pass questions and you can easily figure out how to pass the subject. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. Or, any other doubt, or any other subject video. So yeah I guess that's it for today's video and I'll see you in the next one bye bye